In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small DACA cargo van in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more designs like this one, I've got tons on the channel. And I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a playlist that you can check out. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright then guys, here we are on my flat tutorial world. If you guys want to build this one in a space, it is 9 blocks long, 5 blocks wide, and actually it's 4 blocks high as well, just in case you're wondering on that. For your materials list, at least the initial one, we're going to need a block of neverite, a stone button, blackstone slab, iron trap door, polished deep slate wool, blast furnace, a ladder, we're going to need a crimson stair, and also a pair of purple <laughs> terracotta block. Don't know what I was trying to say there, but get those blocks. And what we're going to do right here is, we are going to have our first set of wheels. Now these are going to be two blocks from uh, or within your rectangle. So leave two and go from there. And it's going to be the same for the frontmost ones as well. This is just going to have a three block gap between them. So it's exactly the same. With your blackstone slab now, go in the middle and come forwards. And also, guys, pull that one up through the back and also have that at the back as well going across. So it's exactly the same there. In the middle, we're going to have three iron trapdoors. So put those in there like that. So three iron trapdoors, just like that. On each of these wheels, now put on a stone button. Now, if you guys are doing this in survival, feel free to switch out this Neverite block for something a lot, lot cheaper. Uh, black concrete, perhaps, something like that will do absolutely fine. Now that we've done that, we're going to come to the front and we're going to place a blast furnace right in the middle, right at the front of the car or the van even. Um, then either side of that, we're going to have polished deep slate wool. Now we're going to put a ladder right on the front of that grill there. That's just our engine block there. Over each of the wheels, we're going to have a crimson trapdoor. So put that in there as well. So you have that crimson trapdoor going in like that. And that's going to be either side of it. Now what we can do is we can grab ourselves a skulker box as well. So I've just replaced the uh, ladder because we're not going to need that anymore with a skulker box. Behind the first wheel arch, we're going to have a purple terracotta block, then a skulker box. Then we're going to have purple terracotta. On the end, we're going to have purple terracotta. In the middle, we're going to have two skulker boxes just stacked on top of each other like that. Then we're going to have purple terracotta here, purple terracotta, skulker box, and purple terracotta there like that. Then behind the first wheel arch here, we're just going to have a purple terracotta block box in there. Now what we're going to do, is right from the back, we're going to have one purple terracotta block, leave two blocks, and then over the other skulker box, that's where we're going to have our other purple terracotta block like that there. Now we're going to need to grab a ton of materials, so grab yourself a diorite wall, light grey stained glass, a black stained glass pane, a lever, a polished black stone button, polished deep slate, crimson sign, crimson trapdoor, and a grey carpet as well. Grab all of those blocks. What we're going to do first is just on the sides of these ones where we've got um, this gap, we're going to have those two polished deep slate blocks in there like that. At the front now, we're going to have a diorite wall either side. In the middle, we're going to have a light grey stained glass block right there, like that. In front of that, we're going to have three crimson trapdoors. Now, you want to have these go in the same way, okay? I mean, you could, to be fair, have them go in uh, mixed up like this or something, but I kind of like it all being the same, okay? So have that there. Then with your grey carpet, we're going to have that over the top here. Make sure that when you get onto that one, you either knock it against the other carpet block or you do shift and click. You're also going to have grey carpet on top of the glass and the walls. And then we're going to have crimson trapdoors going across the back. Now I'm actually having these going the other way to where I've got them going on this bit. It's interesting. But there we go. You can have those going in there like that. With your crimson sign now, what we're going to do is we're going to plonk down here. We're going to go down one line. We're going to say Dakar. And we're going to say cargo, <laughs> of course. Why not? So we're going to do the same on here. Dakar and then cargo. Why not? Go for these things. On the back as well, we're going to have a blank one on the side there. Blank one on the side there. And then in the middle, if you do vertical lines, this is where you guys can credit me for the design. If you can, that'd be awesome. Just put in Lord Dakar there like that. And we're going to do the same on the front as well. So blank either side. And then in the middle there, just putting in Lord Dakar like that. 
and putting that in there. Okay, so what we need to do now, guys, is grab a couple extra blocks. And what you're going to need is a glow ink sack, a glow item frame, ochre frog light, stone button, red stained glass, black stained glass pane because we forgot to put on the wing mirrors, <laughs> a lever, and also a polished black stone button as well. Let's go from the front to the back, why not? So the first thing is with your glow ink sack, let's whack that on there, it just makes it look cooler. For the headlights, we're going to have the glow item frame either side on those walls with an ochre frog light on there. You don't have to put in the ochre frog light, uh, but I like it. I really like the look of it. Then we'll put in the wing mirrors. We're going to have a black stained glass pane on the side there. And then we're going to have a lever just on the side there underneath it like that. Where we've got that skulker box, put a polished black stone button onto it. Let's get the button in there, that lever on there, get that black stained glass pane on there as well. Now with your uh, glow ink sack, whack that onto the DACA cargo bit. It just makes it look, again, it just makes it look cooler. I really like that they've added that into Minecraft. Also the same on the on this part here, the uh, sign down the bottom, whack that on there. We're going to have a stone button at the top, either side of it like that. Then down here, we're going to have that glow item frame, and we're going to have red stained glass on those there like that. Then the final thing we need to do is grab yourself a debug stick so you can do slash give and then your name and Minecraft debug stick. Now this might not be available on all versions of Minecraft, but it definitely is on Java. So what we're going to do is like this wall, I want it connecting into this stair, which doesn't usually happen or doesn't happen naturally. That's facing in a westerly direction, so I need to find, using the left click on PC at least, um, the west property, and then I right click to then switch that to tool. I'm going to do the same on the other side as well, like that. With this diorite wall that we've got on the window to make this kind of rounded window um, going on there, the uh, windshield, what we're going to do is and that one's facing in a north direction, that one's facing a south. So I'm going to get rid of that. So north is gone, then the south is also gone like that. So it then really rounds that part of it out like that. Anyway, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.